If you've scoured the internet looking for a button that could do this, and resize with the form, then this is just the video for you, so stay tuned. Hello there, random internet person. You are clicking on this video because you want to know how to auto resize some sort of control in a Windows Forms app. Well, this is one of the hardest topics I found was even searchable on Google, and I couldn't find anything really related to it that was actually helpful. So I'm making this tutorial today for all of you guys at home, and uh, yeah, enjoy. Also, 95% of you guys aren't subscribed, so if you can read this, then come on. All right, guys, I got a pretty simple tutorial for you guys today. So we have a blank form. Um, let's just say that you are stuck here right now. You have a button and you know, when you start the form, let's say it's down here in the corner. When you run your app and you try to resize it, either it gets cut off or, you know, you, you make it bigger and it just, it doesn't size with the form. You know, it stays the same size, it stays in the same place. We're gonna change that. So what we need to do first is set a few properties. So we're gonna go ahead and click on our button here. And we're going to say that auto size is true and then we're going to say auto size mode is grow only and then we're going to click on our form and we're going to make sure that auto size is true and grow only is also true and then we're going to go back into our back end code and this is where all the magic happens so what we need to do first is create a variable to store the size of the control whether it's a button or some sort of list or whatever it is um, we're going to say private rectangle and the reason we use rectangle this class is because all the controls in Visual Studio are some sort of rectangle. It'll make it very simple to store. And then we're just gonna call it on button original rectangle. And we're gonna initialize it as nothing. So now that we have that out of the way, we actually need to add a method for our form. So when we load up the form, let's click this little lightning symbol, and then we're gonna add a load method. So whenever the user loads the form, which is you know usually when you are just looking at it or you launch your program, um, what do we need to do? We need to store the current size of the button. And before we do this, I actually forgot we need one more uh, variable up here. We need a private rectangle, original, oops, spelled that wrong, original form size. So now we have the size of the entire form and we have the size of our button. And those are the two variables that we care about. Now that we're inside of our form one load method, what we want to do is say that uh, the original form size is equal to this dot size. So that's gonna say that the size of the form, and the reason we could say this is because we're inside of the form method, so it knows that we're talking about a form. So we're just gonna say that it's equal to this dot size. We're also gonna say that the button original rectangle is equal to, then we're gonna create a new rectangle. So we're gonna say new rectangle. So this rectangle instantiator takes four total parameters. So we need a uh, two locations, so an X coordinate and a Y coordinate, and then we need a uh, width and a height. Luckily for us, Visual Studio already has all that in mind, and we could just reference it directly. So we could just say the name of the button, so button one dot location dot X is going to be our uh, X location, and I'll explain this in a second. Let's just just try to follow along for now, and then I'll explain it in a second. Then we're gonna say button one dot location dot y and button one dot width and then finally button one dot height all right guys so i made one quick change here um i'd actually change um from this dot size to the same thing that we did below uh it, it, visual studio 2022 for some reason doesn't like it but you're just going to copy the same thing so this is going to take care of the whole form size and then down here is going to take care of all the button sizes. So hopefully that makes sense. Please comment down below if you have any uh, questions about that. Okay, so let me explain a little bit of what we're doing in case it doesn't make sense to you. What we did is we captured the location, which is just a coordinate. So we captured the X and Y coordinate of the location, and that's always set to the top left portion of the box. So in the case of the forms location, we captured this area here. And then for the button location, we captured this. And then for the width and the height, um, this rectangle is storing obviously the uh, height and the width of the form and the height and the width of the button. And the reason that we need all these is once we have these rectangles, then we can proportionally do some math so that as this whole form here like gets bigger, then we can also say like, oh, hey, this should also be proportional to the whole form. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. Like I said before, comment down below if you have any questions about that. So we actually need a whole nother method to add here. We need to know when the user is resizing the form. Now, how do we know that? 
Luckily for us, Visual Studio has provided us a resize method. If you click on your form as a whole, go click the lightning symbol to the far right, and then scroll down underneath the layout section. At the very bottom, we see this resize thing here, and it says occurs when a control is resized, meaning the form. So if we double click this, this will add a form one resize method so that anytime the user is dragging and you know making the form bigger or smaller, it's gonna call this method. In here is where we wanna do some important stuff. Before we do that, we're gonna write a separate method to do all the complicated math, and then it'll make it much more simpler for us. Right here, we're gonna say private void, and we're gonna call it resize control. And we're gonna pass in two different parameters. We're gonna say uh, rectangle, and then just call it R. And then we're going to say that we also need a control. And we're going to call it C. Every time we call this method, we're going to pass in a rectangle. And we have two of them up here. And then we're going to pass in a control that we actually want to resize. So in our, our scenario, we want to resize the button. We first need to calculate what sort of ratio the X and the Y coordinate have compared to the whole form. Okay, so we're going to start right here. We're going to say float X ratio is equal to cast it as a float. And we're gonna say this dot width divided by cast this as a float as well and then we're gonna say original form size dot width so this is essentially saying that the uh, rectangle that we captured earlier we're gonna take the whole forms width property and divide it by that rectangle and then we're gonna do the same thing with the y axis so we're gonna say y ratio is equal to float this dot height divided by and then float again original form size dot height so now that we have those two things we're going to now need to also calculate um, our new x coordinate and our new y coordinate how we're going to do that is we're going to say int new x that's equal to int so cast this as an int we're going to say the uh rectangle that we passed in so r dot width times the ratio that we just computed so x ratio and then we're going to say new y is equal to int r dot height and we could just visual studio is already on to what we're doing and look at this it's just auto completing all the way through which is awesome and then finally we need to calculate our actual new height and our new width and like like i said we just calculated our new coordinates here so we know where the button needs to be as they're resizing now we need to calculate, okay, how big should the button be? We know where to put it. We just need to know how much larger it needs to be. We're going to say int new width is equal to cast this as an int. And then we're literally going to say this. And it, how, how does it know this? This is insane. We're going to say new height. And it could already tell what we're doing. And this is exactly what we want to do, which is hilarious. So now that we have all these um, things calculated already, we want to actually change it. So the control that we passed in, which is C, and let's, in our scenario, it would be a button. So when we call this method, let's say we are resizing the button. We just did all the math for it. Now we want to actually change it. So we say C.location. We want to change the location of the button or whatever control. And then we're going to say create a new coordinate with these new points that we just made. And then we're going to say the size, and this is just nuts. The autocomplete here is crazy, but this is exactly what we want to do. We want to change the size to the newly calculated uh, width and height that we just made. So now that this, met this method is completely written, and it completely will resize stuff how they should be. Now the only thing we need to do is go to our uh, form on resize method here, and we need to call it. So anytime that the user is resizing the form, we want to resize our button. So we're going to call the method we just wrote called resize control. We're going to pass in our rectangle for our button, which is this button original rectangle. And then we need to pass in the actual name of the button, which is button one. So now all of our stuff is completed and you can apply this to many, many controls and buttons. You just need to, you know, make rectangles for them and call this method properly. But let's test and make sure that it works. All right, guys, here we are. We have our project launch here, and you'll notice as I resize it horizontally, it does resize how it should, and vertically it does as well. And here we go. If we do both at the same time, it stays in the same spot and sizes up automatically. You guys might have to tinker with the anchor properties and the auto size stuff a little bit, but hopefully it works for you, and comment down below if you have any um, run-ins or any problems, and I'd be happy to help. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. 
Um, comment down below for any thoughts or suggestions for the next video. And with that said, thank you guys for watching once again, and I will see you in the next one.